Wind River is a 2017 neo-western crime film written and directed by Taylor Sheridan. The film stars Jeremy Renner and Elizabeth Olsen as a U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service tracker and an FBI agent, respectively, who try to solve a murder on the Wind River Indian Reservation in Wyoming. Gil Birmingham, John Bernthal, and Graham Greene also star. Sheridan has said that he wrote the film to raise awareness of the issue of the high number of indigenous women who are raped and murdered, both on and off reservations. Wind River premiered at the 2017 Sundance Film Festival and was released in the United States on August 4, 2017. The film received generally positive reviews from critics and was a box office success grossing $45 million against an $11 million budget. It was theatrically released by the Weinstein Company, but in October 2017, following the reporting of numerous sexual abuse allegations against Harvey Weinstein, the film's distribution rights for home media were acquired by Lionsgate. Weinstein's credits and logo were omitted on home media and streaming services, as TWC lost its distribution rights. Early Life Sheridan grew up on a ranch in Cranfills Gap, Texas. His family lived minimally, not having a stereo system in their house. Had they not lost the property in the early 1990s, said Sheridan, I would still be living there. After Sheridan dropped out of Texas State University, he moved to Austin where he mowed lawns and painted houses. While looking for jobs in a shopping mall, Sheridan met a talent scout, who offered him the chance to go to Chicago and pursue an acting career. He later lived in New York City and Los Angeles during his time as an actor. Career Sheridan began his career in acting, appearing in small films and in recurring roles in television series like Veronica Mars, Walker, Texas Ranger, and most notably, as David Hale in Sons of Anarchy. He made the transition into screenwriting after he turned 40. His first film as a screenwriter was Sicario, directed by Denis Villeneuve. It revolves around Kate Maser, an FBI agent who is enlisted to a government task force to bring down the leader of a powerful and brutal Mexican drug cartel. It also starred Josh Brolin and Benicio del Toro. The film received critical acclaim, with a 94% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes, and received a number of nominations, including a Writers Guild of America Award nomination for Best Original Screenplay for Sheridan. Sheridan wrote Comancheria after Sicario. Comancheria sold first but was stuck in development for quite a few years, appearing on the blacklist in 2012. It was later retitled Hell or High Water and was released in August 2016, starring Jeff Bridges, Chris Pine, and Ben Foster, and again received critical acclaim. For his screenplay, Sheridan received a large amount of awards attention, earning BAFTA, Golden Globe Award, and Academy Award nominations. The low budget horror film Vile is credited as Sheridan's first film, but he does not consider the film his directorial debut, stating in a 2017 Rotten Tomatoes interview I would say this is my feature debut. A friend of mine raised I don't know what he raised 20 grand or something, and cast his buddies, and wrote this bad horror movie, that I told him not to direct. He was going to direct it and produce it, and he started and freaked out, and called and said, can you help me? I said, yeah, I'll try. I kind of kept the ship pointed straight, and they went off and edited, and did what they did. I think it's generous to call me the director. I think he was try to say thank you, in some way. It was an excellent opportunity to point a camera and learn some lessons that actually benefited me on Wind River. His second feature as director, but third as screenwriter, Wind River, starring Jeremy Renner and Elizabeth Olsen, premiered at Sundance Film Festival in January 2017. The film follows an FBI agent and a veteran game tracker, investigating a murder that occurred on a Native American reservation. 
The Weinstein Company had acquired the distribution rights during the 2016 Cannes Film Festival, but dropped the film prior to the Sundance premiere. However, the company later finalized its deal to distribute it. Wind River was widely released in the United States on August 18, 2017, following a brief limited release. Following Sicario in Hell or High Water, Wind River is the third installment of Sheridan's trilogy of the modern-day American frontier. On September 15, 2016, Deadline reported that Sheridan had been set by Sony Pictures and Escape Artists to script the American remake of the Matthias Schoenert's drama thriller film Disorder, a 2015 French film directed by Alice Wynokur. Escape artists Todd Black, Jason Blumenthal, Steve Tisch, and Tony Shaw were scheduled to produce the remake and David Bobayer to oversee it for the studio. James Mangold was going to direct. In 2017, Sheridan created the television series Yellowstone starring Kevin Costner that has aired on the Paramount Network for four seasons running beginning June 20, 2018. Sheridan wrote the sequel to Sicario titled Sicario, Day of the Soldado, which was directed by Stefano Salima and released in 2018. More recently, his overall deal with Viacom CBS was renewed. In May 2019, it was announced Warner Brothers Pictures and New Line Cinema acquired distribution rights to the film Those Who Wish Me Dead with Sheridan as director. The film had a theatrical debut internationally in South Korea on May 5. 2021. In the United States, it was released on May 14, 2021. Style As an actor, Sheridan has explained that the amount of expositional dialogue he read for television caused him to form an allergy to exposition in his writing. He has also said that he looks for absurdly simple plots in order to focus solely on character. He has cited the Cohn brothers, Cormac McCarthy, and Larry McMurtry as influential to his writing. He is known for toying with the form and structure of a screenplay in his work. In Sicario, Sheridan incorporated a five act structure and a five act structure within that. He believes in the intelligence of the audience, and uses the structure and context of his stories as a way to subvert expectations. I look at each movie as how am I breaking the rules this time? Personal Life Sheridan has been married to actress and model Nicole Muirbrook since 2013. They currently reside in Weatherford, Texas. Filmography Film Television